Who around here has things laying around the house that you haven't used in, say, forever? I know I do, and I wanted to find a way to revamp or repurpose some of the things around my house. I found this cork board that I've had for a long time and haven't been using it for the past few years, and it's just been laying around collecting dust and using up space. So I'm going to show you how I repurpose something old into something new, and an alternative way in case you don't have a cork board laying around. Some additional things you'll need is a big whopping pile of jewelry, some push pins or thumbtacks, some of these screw hooks, some different patterns of fabric, some fabric scissors, pencil, and a ruler, some spray adhesive, canvas for the alternative way, some fabric glue and a sponge brush, and hot glue gun is optional. First start by making sure your fabric fits your board. Mine doesn't, but make adjustments where you need to. Flip the fabric around so that you can measure what you need to cut off. The easiest way that I did it was to first pin the top corners down. Then with the ruler and the fabric, Push the fabric to the edge with the ruler and use the ruler as a straight edge to draw a line. Then cut along the line that you drew. I didn't want to use the original frame because it was kind of boring. So I used black acrylic paint and painted two thin coats on the frame and also used the paint along the sides of the cork board where the fabric doesn't cover. After the paint dried, I was ready to put my fabric onto the board. I used a spray adhesive because I knew it would give me a nice even coat. You can use this one of two ways. You can spray it to stick it to the surface right away, or you can use it the other way. Spray it, let it sit for 15 seconds, and then stick it to a surface. The 15 second route makes it temporary so that it's easier to work with. And if you ever want to change the fabric in the future, this would be the easiest way to do it. Once the spray adhesive is dry, you can arrange your jewelry the way you want it on your cork board. Once you have it all arranged, now is the time that you want to place your pins. I used these thumbtacks, but didn't press them all the way in. That way I can use these for the more fragile jewelry like my chain necklaces. You can use a ruler to make sure that they're in a straight line. I used a bigger pin for this thicker necklace. I used the clear push pins for the earrings that I put on this board and then placed them two inches apart. And then I used the jumbo push pins for my bracelets. They worked out pretty well. And you're done. I have to say, this has been one of my more favorite projects. For the alternative way with the canvas, you want to start off by measuring two inches of fabric around the border of your canvas. And then cut it out. I made these little slits in the corners to make it easier to fold in and not bulk up on the fabric. Take some fabric glue, I use tacky glue, it works best for this project, and with a sponge brush, brush some onto the back side of the canvas. Then you want to pull the fabric up and around and lay the fabric flat on the back of the canvas. Then do the same thing to the opposite side, just make sure to pull tight before you lay the fabric down. Then just repeat the same steps on the other two sides, just remember to pull tight. Once it's dry, you want to take some push pins and feel around for the wooden frame, and stick the pins into the frame. I put three pins into this board for now. I see that the pins are crooked, and I did fix it. So now you may be thinking, what is she going to do with all the little stud earrings that are laying there? 
I took some ribbon and measured a piece that fits the canvas. I hot glued one side of the ribbon to the back side of the canvas. Then I used the ribbon as an earring holder and just let it hang so that it's easier to get the backs of the earrings off. And you're done! For the smaller 5x7 canvas, I also wrapped it in fabric. I used these hooks and screwed them into the bottom of the canvas so that I can hang rings, earrings, and bracelets. It's not too hard to screw them into the wooden frame, but it's a little difficult to start the hole. Just rotate it back and forth a while until you get the hole set. Then it should be easy to screw in the rest of the way. I used one push pin for the one pair of earrings that I had left over and thought it would look better on the darker fabric. I also hung some other earrings and a ring from it. And you're done! Thanks so much for watching my newest video. If you liked it, let me know and hit the like button. And if you liked it that much, subscribe to my channel to see my next video. And also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. See you again soon! Bye!